Welcome into week five of Friday Night Blitz here on Fox Carolina. Hey there, I'm Aaron Cheslock. We'll begin as we always do with tonight's game of the week between Burns and Gaffney. All of our game coverage this week sponsored by Nissan of Greer. And if we're talking about game of the week, we're talking about our own Amanda Keene who joins us live from the sidelines. Amanda Burns and Gaffney, a huge rivalry game. So much at stake in the region and everyone looks forward to it in that area. And it looks like it's still going on. Aaron, time literally just expired as you were introducing me. The final score was pretty decent towards the end there, but it was a battle all the way up until the final seconds. As you can see, this place was a madhouse. It was pink night. It was uh, breast cancer awareness night, and the stands were packed both on the visiting side and, of course, here at the reservation at home. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. They're pretty exciting. A heated rivalry tonight, Gaffney hosting Burns. In the first quarter, Rebel ball. Braden Blackmon gets a snap and he runs it in, stretches across to make it 6 0 Burns. Then they set up as if to kick, but they confuse us all. They give it to Blackmon and he finishes the two point conversion a quick 8 0 for the Rebels. Indian ball, still first quarter. Andre Lindsay hands it off to Tyler Smith, who finds a gap. He goes 47 yards to the house. Gaffney on the board. They make it 8 to 7. Burns ball quarterback Lawrence Scott throws to Braylon Johnson, who gets another quick six. 14 to 7 Rebels. But then Burns up to the same old tricks. They go for two. Chris Bird gets the snap, powers it in for the two-point conversion. 16 to 7 Rebels. It's still the first quarter. Quarterback Andre Lindsay for Gaffney isn't going down without a fight, though. Check out this movie. Deeks the defender to the ground, and that is going to be a Gaffney first down. That puts them in scoring position. They have to settle for a field goal, though. 16 to 10, but Burns starts to pull away. Scott over the top to Johnson again. Now it's 22 to 10, and they don't stop there. All right, guys. Well, they just went through the handshake. I'm here with head coach Reggie Shaw. Coach, 57 to 30, the final score. A lot of points in tonight's game. What was that like for you to see all those points? I love it when it's 57 on my side. You know, who, who thought it would have been this much? Two great defenses that came out, but the offenses were the story tonight. I mean, when I walked in the stadium today, I could feel the excitement. There was a little bit of an edge, a lot of tension. How do you keep your guys focused when there's so much hype on such a game like this? It's hard. There were a lot of penalties. There were a lot of pushing and uh, a lot of tension between them. This is two great programs. It's a bitter rivalry, but uh, I'm so proud of my coaches and players how they finished tonight. And so many games into the season already, you're still undefeated. How's it going for you guys? You still feeling confident? One game at a time, man. Just going to celebrate this one and get ready for Riverside in a short time. Great, Coach. Thank you so much. Good luck with the rest of the way. Appreciate it. All right, Aaron, heading back to you in the studio for some more highlights. All right, Amanda, thank you very much. A huge one lives up to the hype. Certainly one of the biggest rivalries in the state. Burns and Gaffney, the Rebels prevailing tonight.